Jean Grey was cheating Scott Summers. It's been a long time since she sleeped the first time with Loga. She got scared the first time, but, as the time went on, the fear of being discovered disappeared. Now she's almost telling Scott what she's been doing for the past two years. Scott, I have something to tell you, said Jean, visibly distraught. What is it, Jean? <laughs> it's that... Jean knew if she told the truth, everything from this day on would be different. This scared her mush, but she wanted to live a happy life with Logan from now on. What is worrying you, Jean? Scott, you know we've been through many things, Togerter. Uh-uh? <laughs> and you have been such a good husband to me all of this time. Jean, what are you talking about? <laughs> Scoot asked nervously to Jean. <laughs> but now, I think this isn't going anywhere anymore, Scott. Jean? I don't love you anymore, Scott. I love Logan, and I'm going to Paris with him! Cried Jean with so much pain in her heart, she perspired and loathed herself for what she was doing. No, Jean, don't say that. I love you. It's over, Scott. God, bye. Jean <laughs> picked her purse, mounted on Logan's motorcycle, and they went to the report. Scott got really sad, but got Aww. angry. So angry, he clutched his hands with so much rage it started to bleed. He ah, didn't know what to do now. But it isn't going to end like thee. He will get his revenge. I will get my revenge. Three months have passed. Last time Jean talked to Scott. She is happy with Loga at Paris. She never been happier her entire life with a man. The two are at the hotel room, in front of the Eiffel Tower. The landscape is gorgeous, and the streets are beautiful. The Arch of Trump is magnificent, too. The birds all fly over it in a dance of passion and lust. Jean, I love you more and more, Bob. Oh, mon heros! She hooged Wolverine so firmly and affectionately. Logan returned the affected hug with so much love, he started to kiss Jean passionately. His lips were full of love and joy. The bruteness of that man was so manly, and at the same time, so tender. He started to move his hands all over Jean's body, starting with hair. Suck a soft and redful hair. <laughs> it is like a cotton field full of love and desire. <laughs> then he reached her back. That too, or that was soft too and full of comfort. That back suffered so much pain from the villain, but now he would never let that happen again. He loves her so much. So then much. he reached her nipples. They were full, pointing upwards, and were very comfortable. Logan put his face there and stroked her gently with his cheeks full of beard. <laughs> oh, Logan, your beard hurts me a little, but I like it. Jean, you are so beautiful, Bob. Jean was moving her hands, too, all over Logan's strong body. He was full of hair and was so virile. His veins were pulsating a lot of blood and lust. She knew what he wanted. Her hands started to move to his manly organ. She felt it, so erect. Pulsating life and love. Oh, Mr. Wolverine, your claw is so strong. Is it made from adamantium? No, Cerise. It's pure pansy, Bob. <laughs> she rubbed his big man beast with so much lust. Logan liked it. He started to moan and moan like a pussy cat. Do you like Amore Mio? Yes, Jean, you're wonderful, Bob. They put off their clothes and start to make it out. Logan put his raging beast inside her engorging petals? Oh, it's painful! Stop, Logan! What is it, Jean, bub? I never told you, but I'm a virgin. Virgin how? And Scott, bub? When we were going to bed, every time he started to unclothe himself to make out with me, I created an illusion, so he never knew it. I was never there. So you preserve your virginity to me, Bob. Yes, Logan. Oh, my love, Bob. Logan put his manly member slowly inside of Jean's flower. He went on very slowly and amorous, preventing the pain to reach Jean's body. The blood started to flow from her very sex, reaching the white sheets covering the bed. It all started to turn red, like the immense love they had between them soul vexes. So the moment arrived. Logan and Jean reached theirs climaxes, and they both come to enjoy in passion. 
Their hearts were on fire. Their minds reached the nirvana of pleasure and joyness. <laughs> happiness was total, absolute. That was the most unique moment in their lives. Everything went to dissolve, and only the two were living on this beautiful world. <laughs> the couple was very happy, but what they didn't knew was that Scott was observing. Yes, mm. all of the time, he was looking through the window, watching <laughs> every moment to Logan and mm. Jimmy were doing all of their affection, the love, <laughs> penetration moment. <laughs> he couldn't keep that to himself anymore. Ah! When Logan and Jean started to dress themselves up, Scott kicked the dar and shoot both Wolverine's arms and legs, his torso, and his neck. Bang, dang! Arrgh, bub. Screamed Logan with the fury in his hearth. No! Logan! Screamed Jean with tears sprying all over the now blood-covered room. Jean, you bitch! You see what you've made me done? Screamed Scott in pain and raged in his passion and hate against Jean. Screamed again, Jean, going to help Logan. Then, Scott kicked her shoulder, throwing her at the wall. H picked a syringe that was in his pocket and injected the strange and unknown liquid inside Logan's veins. What is this, Bob? Asked Logan. This serum will remove your powers and Jean will be mine again? Shouted Scott at the height of his madness. Stop, Scott! You will kill him! Without his healing powers, he'll be dead in two hours! That's what I want, but before you die, you will see your little whore being mine again? Shouted again, A, out of his mind, Scott. Scott grabbed Jean and threw her on the blood-filled bed. He started to pull his pants off and teared off Jean's clothes. No, Scoot, please! <laughs> you will see what a man I am. He started to push his penis against Jean's labia, causing her much pain. Scott thrusted very hard and fast inside Jean's and her screams could be heard from the other side of the street. Oh. Scott, stop. You're going to kill me. That that not what you like, Jean? I'm being tender with you, but if you want more, so be it. Scott kept moving on and on, faster and faster, bruising all of Jean's inner uterus. Blood started to spill from it, covering all of Scott's pelvic area. He then started to spank her with all of his power. He used his eye laser on Jean and started to roast her skin. <laughs> her skin started to open, and with all the bruise and spanking she was receiving, Logan could only look with tears in his eyes as his love was being brutally shattered in front of his own eyes. The, comma, Scott took from his pocket a knife and started to cut off pieces of Jean's flesh. <laughs> Be calm, Jean. I'm just cleaning you from the sins you committed. Only cutting off flesh to make contact with that pig over there on the ground. Oink, bub. With his eyes lasers, Scott burned patches of Jean's skin and cut off them. He saw all that and got very proud of himself. He started to lick Jean's exposed raw flesh with much lust and desire. <laughs> he put his fingers inside Jean's exposed flesh on her nipples and rotated his fingers causing Jean much pain and sorrow. <coughs> Scott then introduced both of his hands inside Jean's womb, annihilating her vagina and opening her in half <laughs> from the vagina to her navel. But then he felt something. What was that, comma? A fetus came out on his arms. What? Scott wasn't understanding. She wasn't supposed to be pregnant. Today was the only day Jean and Logan got to get her and made sex. What this, Jean? What's this? The brutally injured Jean tried to talk, but was felling much pain. She suffered third-degree burns, and her eyes were bleeding, filled with pus. Abscesses formed on her internal organs, and her arms was covered with leeches and worms. Talk, woman! Screamed a <laughs> madness-ridden Scott, with the almost dead baby on his hands. With much effort, Jean talked. Scott put his hands on his head. He couldn't believe what has happened. He killed his own son. Flesh from his flesh. Bones from his bones. Blood from his blood. Logan, that was hearing and seeing everything, got enraged. Jean had told him he was the first. But she lied. She already slept with Scott and was cheating on him all along. He was weak, but managed to pull himself up. Jean, you see what you've done, Bob. 
screamed Logan. Jean couldn't move her lips anymore. They were being a ten by parasites. Scott throwed at her, during his slaughtering. Her bones were completely exposed, and nerves were outside of her body, trying to move a now amputated arm. A pool of Jean's blood were covering the entire room. Logan them put out his claws out of his wrists and attacked Scott. Die, Scott, Bob. And them, comma, disemboweled all of his internal organs with one simple cut. Argh! Screamed Scott, point. trying to put together his bowels inside his stomach again. <laughs> Logan then proceeded to attack his nemesis one more time. No, Logan, again, please, I killed my son. Have mercy. I have no fucking mercy for a fucking shit like you, bub. And then, with one clear cut, form his claws, beheaded Scott's head from his neck. <laughs> Be beheaded Scott's head from his neck. It flied all over the room and fell on the blood-covered ground. His head was live for some few seconds and tried to scream, but couldn't, because he had no throat anymore. Blood got out of his eyes, and he passed out. Now, Gene, it's time to pay for your sins, Bob. Shouted aloud, Logan. Gene could do nothing. Only look as Logan started to eat her alive. Logan was hungry. Hungry for love. And the only way he could retain his love for Gene was having her inside him. He chopped <laughs> half of her you inside me. and then proceeded from there, smashing her foot bones with his adamantium teeth. Oh, no. <laughs> the, the agony was unbearable, but Jean couldn't do anything. Her nose started to bleed, too. Uh-oh. That's the worst part of it. <laughs> and his, <laughs> his auditory senses faded out. She was mute and now deaf. Only his eyes were working, but she wished they weren't, because she was licking herself being eaten alive by her greatest love. <laughs> Logan reached Jean's sex organ and stopped. He remembered the child that has been withdrawn from her womb, and for a moment he stopped. What he was doing. Even if the child wasn't his son, he could forgive Jean. She had no guilt in what she did, but it was late. He condemned his wife to the painful and abhorrent fate of seeing her love and son being destroyed. No, it must end now. Logan them, looking at Jean's eyes said sorry Jean I didn't mean to bub and then lol punctured her skull with his blood covered claws terminating her agony it was all over he was going to die only 15 minutes from now and he'll be dead Logan Very threw precise. himself on the ground and started to cry as adamantium poisoned his body and then he died the end if you have some time left you can left a review no time left no problem hope you enjoyed Winking smiley face. <laughs>